OK, so let's say I want to find the length or magnitude of a three-dimensional vector. So what I want you to imagine is that we've got uh, a room, OK, a cuboid-shaped room uh, like this, OK? So what I'm going to use as representing uh, the vector is a vector that goes from one corner of the room all the way to the opposite corner of the room, OK? Because in that, it's travelling um, something along one axis, then something along another axis, and then something along uh, the depth axis, so or height axis, OK? So if I draw a line from one corner of the room to the other, the problem reduces to trying to find the length of that line. OK, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from that same corner to that corner. So it's kind of like the floor, imagining the floor of the room, and you're drawing a line from one corner of the room to the other corner of the room along the floor. So, what do we have? Well, let's say I give some dimensions to this. So I say that this is length A, this side is length B, and this height is length C. Okay, and the length I'm trying to find is D. So, the line that I've drawn on the floor, OK, going from one corner to the other, will make a right-angled triangle on the floor. Yeah? OK, so um, quite difficult to draw what that right angle would look like. But it's a right angle on against one corner of the floor. So we've actually got a right-angled triangle drawn on the floor. So the hypotenuse of that right-angled triangle would be the square root of a squared plus b squared. So that is then the base of another right angle triangle, which base is that l green line that going, that's going across from one corner of the room to the other, making a right angle with the corner wall, OK, the corner of the wall, up to that corner. So that's another right-angled triangle. I've got one side there. I've got one side there. So that means that D is equal to the square root of this side squared. So that side squared plus that side squared. But the square root of A squared plus B squared squared the squared and the square root cancel, and I'd be left with a squared plus b squared plus c squared. So this is how Pythagoras works in three dimensions. It's actually quite a basic looking extension to something you already know. So the length of a 3D vector is a squared plus b squared plus c squared. So if uh, D, say, was A, B, C, then the length of D is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared plus C squared. 